Hi guys, uh, just want to show you how to program a DCC locomotive with a Pico Digi 1 controller. Uh, this is very, uh, um, is a very lightweight and it's very cheap uh, DCC locomotive controller. Uh, I think the Pico has done a very fab, uh, good job of making this, uh, this better than uh, Backman. I definitely say it's better than Backman. Um, this comes this this comes with individually you can buy from pico on the pico website you, you go there you see uh you can buy this locomotive and either if you want to go on ebay you can buy this very cheap price that will cost around 120 150 dollars a brand new um i have the i have the receiver on digi one receiver with this that came with this uh, uh controller on the hand here control it's been already connected and I have this RH, uh, Pico RH 2116. Uh, this has been already been a program to number three, but I just want to show you how, uh, how to read programming. Uh, this happens when you buy a new locomotive and you don't know the number, or you don't know the locomotive number, where you uh, just don't know what to do and uh, you are just stuck with your DCC handling, a uh, DCC controller where you don't know the number. So uh, it's very easy and um, I have this, um, uh, there are a lot of features we can do on this Pico Digi, but I just want to show you just uh, basics. Um, uh, on the, on, on the, on the, on the handheld control, uh, on this button, the locomotive, uh, this is where you initiate the selection of local address. Um, this is already been programmed to number three, but I just want to show you uh, just how it happens. So once you program into the number that you want, but this has been already been programmed to number three, so I just want to show you. Just press once and then press three. And the directions of these, uh, you can choose where they left or right, but I think this is already been going to left side. Yeah, yeah, that's left. Okay, um, just keep it as that. Um, and there's uh, another button down here. Uh, this is to initiate the accessory address, the whether you can select um, right or left loops, uh, then signal lights or whatever it is what you want to program. And this is where the third button where you initiate to program the local decoder. Um, it's really easy, but I uh, just want to show you the basic installation. And uh, as I told you that if you don't know the local material address, then the best thing is uh, you keep the locomotive on a single one, single track, and uh, it should be not. Uh, there should be not any uh, locomotives in be on the same track. Um, if you keep one of the extra locomotives on the same track, what will happen is that uh, the both the, both locomotives will be programmed to the same address that you're going to do it. So it's better you have one single track and one single uh, locomotive at once, and. Um, and um, there are so much of features as I told you. Uh, I have these um, um, the the red and green buttons on this remote. Actually, um, you can control the lights, uh, and you also you can control the sound. But unfortunately, I don't have the sounds on my uh, locomotive. But if you just press this uh, button here down here, and uh, you can see the lights switching off and the lights coming back again. Yeah, it's pretty much a good um, DC handheld controller. Uh, I would definitely recommend to any uh, startup guy who wants to start up model railway. This is the best ideal um, handheld controller. A very cheap, it's really cheap. Um, you can contact me if you want. I can help you out to buy. Um, let's see how we to program this. Um, here we go. Uh, I just want to put put this back again so you all can see properly. Um, on the handheld controller, um, you will need to uh, if you want to prove now this has been already been programmed to number three. So if you want to reprogram into number one or two or three or uh, four, five, six, that's up to you. You can go up to um, three dig dig digits or HGD. Uh, digits and uh, we see uh, we can code and, and and just want to show you this uh, if you have a, a sound locomotive 
um, there's a function where you can have F1, F2, where you can uh, control your sounds. Um, on this locomotive, I'm going to show you to read program it to number one. So I just press this twice and then I press number one and again I press this button again once and then you can see here the receiver takes the command from my receiver and the locomotive just moved a little bit and then it will program to number one it will take some time you need to have some patience I'm sure that's I'm sure there will be some lights coming up from this side which side ah okay here we go it's been programmed so it's been done and the locomotive address is programmed to number one so I just press this loco initiated number one and then I press the direction and the speed it's been already programmed to right so oh here we go that's it it's very easy simple um, very um, uh, yeah. okay here we go just coming back this side so okay. that's it guys um, thank you for watching and please subscribe my uh, channel and please give a, a thumb and we'll catch you up on another day. Thanks a lot.